Hey y'all, this is Andrew at the North Regional Library in Karen Crow, and today I'm going to show you how to make an enclosed terrarium uh, using items that you should be able to find around your home. Uh, first you'll need a jar. Uh, this is just a pickle jar. You'll need some potting soil, uh, some pea gravel, uh, a tool. I use uh, just a plastic spoon. Um, you can use decorative rocks, and I have some pretty rocks here. Um, you can also use uh, miniature figures, uh, figurines. I have a little dinosaur that I'm going to use on this one. Um, you can use any miniature figure that you like, though. Um, I've got some little monkey grass uh, that I found around the library. We're going to use that. You can also use uh, ferns, uh, anything that likes a, a, a wet environment. Uh, and last but not least, we have uh, different varieties of green moss that I found around the library. And I'll show you uh, quickly how I found that. Um, and then we'll get started. So here I am on the side of the North Regional Library. And as you can see, there's plenty of green moss on the ground. And it is really easy to harvest. And you just need to find a, a nice pretty patch that looks like it's easy to get out. Okay, once you find a patch of moss that you like, you can kind of just take a knife and cut out a square. And it'll peel up, hopefully just like a piece of carpet. And you can tear it. There you go. You got yourself a nice piece of moss there. Okay, welcome back inside. Now that you've gathered your moss, uh, you can get started building your terrarium. So you can take your cleaned out uh, jar and add a layer of gravel that's been rinsed. And you want to do it gently uh, into the glass jar so the jar doesn't break. And just shake it to level it out. Uh, next you'll add some potting soil and you can just use a spoon. And you can add a nice layer of maybe about an inch okay that looks pretty good and when you decide where you want to put your plant uh, you'll plant your plant next and you can make a little hole or depression to put your plant in I think right here will work. And once again, you can use your spoon. Uh, then you would take your plant of choice. And again, this is just a little monkey grass. And we'll put it in the hole. And I'm going to use this spoon again just to cover it up and tamp it down. Good, that looks good. And then we'll take a little water and I have a spray bottle here and I'm just gonna mist it just a little bit. So we're wetting the, the dirt and the plant. Okay, and next you can take some of your moss find a nice piece and you can just tear off um, a piece that you like like that so and we'll go ahead and put that in right there and you can push it down it's pretty sturdy so you can just push it down into the potting soil okay and I think I'll use 
this piece here, go here. And you can just push it down. And here's another piece. It looks good. And you can kind of fit them in just like a, a, a puzzle. Maybe uh, one more piece here. We'll take this piece and put it all on the back. Carefully here. And push it in. All right. Looks good. And then you can find a rock or two. Uh, how about this one? I'm gonna put it on the back and maybe one more. Put that in. And then just for fun, I'm gonna add this little dinosaur here. There we go. And when I'm done, I'm gonna just spritz it with a little water. And if necessary, if you've got some dirt on the glass on the inside, you can take a paper towel, Q-tip, a little sponge or something, and just wipe your glass carefully. And that's it. Then what you're going to do is you just seal it up, close the jar, and you should be all done. If you notice uh, too much condensation on the jar, uh, you can take the lid off the jar for an hour or two. Um, and if it looks like the plant and moss is getting a little dried out, um, you can add a little water, but it should be good. And last, just uh, enjoy your miniature ecosystem. Thank you, have a good day.